as most of you guys are aware, Nike have linked up with Cortez, 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 however you pronounce the name. But they're doing absolute bits here in the UK and beyond because the guy behind it is going to parts of Europe and stuff and being recognized by kids all over the place. He's smashing it. He's got the children in the palm of his hands. He's got the culture in the palm of his hands. So the Nike collab makes complete sense when they announced it. He announced it. The leak a bit was amazing. They had a logo shown outside the Nike Town store in London, in Oxford Street. If you know anything about the Nike Town store in London, Oxford Street, and it's flipping connection to culture, um, you know, what it meant to us growing up, going there, um, sometimes even getting jobs there, um, the, you know, the, the football tournaments, the Jogger Benito stuff, like that place is legendary. That Nike Town store in London is a legendary spot for queuing for SBs and shit, like fights, whatever. It's a fucking legendary spot. So, them doing that flipping launch was great and amazing showing the logo outside of it now no one knew what the shoes would be i think i pontificated myself a little bit here and there about what the shoes would look like um and what they would kind of go with and now we've kind of got an official look at the shoes and the entire package going together and one thing's for sure one thing's for sure the track suits that put the shoes together so the track suit that goes with the shoes makes the shoes look better but being a fan of what they do and being eagerly anticipating what it would actually end up looking like i am a little bit disappointed the shoes are a little bit underwhelming number one underwhelming because of the model the nike mx95 i feel like is a weird choice to make for a brand that i think is more gen z than it is millennial i would say right and i think that the 95 probably has more of a connection with people my age or from my generation than it would do with the kids, especially because I remember growing up before 90, 95s were like really expensive. They were like 120, 130. Maybe they're about that now. Maybe 145 of course, but they're really expensive. Um, maybe the most expensive trainers back then Air Maxes were like TLs and stuff and TNs. They're like 150 sometimes. You could get them in like Little Woods catalogs. Crazy. But 95s were the the shoe that a lot of guys in my area would wear, like the like the what you call like the trappers would wear. And essentially back in the day, when there was that kind of like the crossover between that like garage and grime, there was that little period in between. A lot of guys that used to go to like Stratford Rex back in the day would wear 95s as like their version of a Prada. They put a 95 on like a clean, fresh pair, a pair of jeans and then like an Armani exchange shirt on, a Versace shirt with the Medusa on it. And that would be what they'd be wearing. But the 95 was like, okay, this is the piece of resistance of the outfit because this shoe is like 130. It's like a big boy Air Max. And that was what you see all the olders be wearing. Then when we were coming up, we were basically obsessive like 95s or even TNs. That was kind of like my generation's kind of shoe. And 95s are kind of old hat. They're a bit bulky and they kind of suffer you only with 60 to olders. And I feel like nowadays with kids growing up or especially now this generation, I don't know, I would assume maybe a 90 would be more adapt or more kind of, you know, make more sense for this Cortez collaboration. Maybe a Air Max 1, maybe a Nike Air Max 87, um, uh, maybe a Tailwind maybe a 180, maybe they even could decide to tap back into the Harachi because the Harachi Ellie for a moment, that Harachi Ellie was, had an absolute grip on the streets, right? Everyone was wearing Harachis. Now it's like Jordan 1s and stuff, but that would have made more sense. Even going as far as Jordan 1, which I think is a little bit boring and trite, or even what's that other shoe I'm thinking of would be a good example. There's this other shoe, um, I forgot the name of it, but a lot of people in ends are wearing them. They had basically, it's an all bubble sole. I forgot the name of it, um, but yeah, it's very popular for a while. Maybe I'll put a picture up later if I can remember it. That would have made more sense. I feel like the MX-95 is an odd choice. And then the colorway as well is strange, but I can't really be too critical because I think when you get given a collaboration with Nike to design a shoe from the bottom up, it can be very difficult to make it work and to kind of pick the right colors or to pick the right things, whatnot, because essentially you get the keys to the flipping Willy Wonka chocolate factory, all the materials, all the resources, all the talent, and sometimes it can just go a bit crazy. And to me, the shoe model itself and the colorway, it kind of reminds me of like, you remember when you were in art back in the day? And if you put all the colors into the palette and you mix them, you end up with this like shitty brown color. Like if you put everything in, and I think this is what you kind of end up here. You've got this kind of a green scale colorway, um, which different kind of gradients of green on them. But essentially it kind of just looks a little bit like, you know, I don't know. It's a little bit of a shrug of a shoulder in some regard. I do like the addition of the Cortez here embroidered on the side and obviously here to the front. 
of the mud guard where the swoosh would be you got the little sea star there the yellow air bubble i do like personally because it reminds me of like vintage um air maxes like if you was to buy a vintage pair of an air max um that's been you know in a cupboard somewhere um it would maybe be yellowed out a little bit it reminds me of the neon air you know air maxes in that regard but the colorway i'm not really too fond of i do like the mesh part here towards the top of the eye lace stays that looks pretty decent and the leather quality does look really nice it looks like they may have used the lever they used to use on Air Max 95s, which was the Code.jp ones. I don't know if you guys remember those, but there used to be this crazy line of Code.jp Air Max 95s that were done in all leather that were bloody amazing. And I think they used to go for like 200 plus pounds. Now they might be more on resale, but they're really, really nice. I'm surprised they haven't actually been retroed, but they're really, really cool. But the color is not too great. But again, the thing that I like about them is I feel like the tracksuit is a really good, um, is a, it kind of makes the shoes it kind of elevates your shoes and if anything it kind of reminds me of when Foot Looker used to sell a particular line of tracksuits sometimes with, with Air Maxes that they'd have like, we have like a TL or TN or 95 or something and they'd make a specific Foot Looker specific tracksuit like an exclusive one you couldn't get anywhere else and the tracksuit used to be bucks used to be like I don't know 130 for the set and sometimes it'd go as far as having a matching hat with it which would go for crazy money too and it would sell out all the time even though people, people I don't know where people in ends are getting there's money from but I couldn't buy it with my flipping EMA money but I think this is a really good nod I think that maybe what the what the flipping founder of the brand went for by doing this tracksuit but he does tracksuits anyway but I feel like this really works well with the Air Maxes so in isolation I don't like the shoes but I do like them in this whole entire look I think they look sick with the look in both colorways um, of the tracks so you've got this uh, um, olive army green sort of colorway and then you've got this sort of like a what do you call it tree bark type camo type colorway also but I think they look great in both but as a shoe itself I'm not really that impressed I think the model's a bit underwhelming the color way is a bit underwhelming but I do like the overall look of the tracksuit. So like that as a look altogether is crazy good right you got the logo here on the front you got another logo here on the side and i guess it's all by my nike as well so it drops amazing i like the fact that they didn't put the elastic on the bottom of the cuffs which is something that drives me crazy no elastic on the cuffs just a zip so you can sag them nicely and it can drop nice over your shoes this tracks it will look great with a pair of air force ones also like absolutely banging i love the entire thing um let's go here with the article it says um after staging a crossbar challenge to give away yeah the crossbar challenge as well was all yeah everything didn't really make any sense how you can have a crossbar challenge with a pair of mx95s do you know what i mean it's just like i don't know but you know cultural wise and whatnot it didn't make sense but you know as a shoe it's a bit weird it continues the video with rtw rules the world reporters from korea france japan and england sharing breaking news of the release the announcement is seen sending shockwaves throughout the world and stock markets following the reference to the cusper challenge the journey then takes us everywhere from the room to the off the rails the sneakhead street tunnels of the back tv of back of an atv to subtle details scattered take a look at the video below and stay tuned for the brand's um instagram so yeah let's check the video actually let's play a little bit of it here This is just in. We've been following the story overnight. Today's Air Max 90 is no longer being released. Celle de chaos ici à Paris. Les gens deviennent fous pour avoir une paire. This is my dad. You know this 
Scottiers, Max N95. Yeah, I wanted to make an inquiry into acquiring that footwear. I say nice. So welcome to man's room and that. Obviously, man's a proud holder, but I know you know about these ones though. Can you stop calling me, please? What do you mean, can you stop calling me, please? I need help. Wait, I don't think you understand. I cannot help you, like, at all. Can you find kids or whoever is there for me, please? I need this, please. I don't know about you, but I got mine. Wow, <laughs> sick. Cortez rules the world. That's it. <laughs> Yo, Nike fucking cut the check on that promo, innit? God damn it. Hopefully this means we're going to get some other bits and bobs. So maybe my reservations on the model and the shoe choice and whatnot and the colorway will be um, alleviated because I did see two other colorways featured in that little um, auction skit they had in there. So there's two colorways coming out, which is nice. So maybe similar to the pattern thing um, where they dropped many colorways of the same sort of model. They may see that. And this also may be a long term partnership. That'd be pretty cool. Imagine if they brought Cortez inside or Cortez, how you pronounce it, in in house and kind of made it another sort of side thing of what they're doing. Um, you know, like what kind of like Drake is doing with Nocta. That'd be pretty sick if that that would be a massive look, right? From going from a kid that designing t-shirts and stuff himself to now suddenly working in-house with Nike. That'd be a great way to go about things. But yeah, and the, the little skit with the kids, again, maybe I'm not in touch. Maybe the kids do fantasize and hold 95s up on a pedestal. But from being out and about in the streets and stuff, I don't really see kids wearing 95s that much, to be fair. Um, maybe because they're out there price range, because they're too bulky. But the fact that he's bringing them back and making them be a thing is a good thing. Maybe it's a little nod. Look at them closely. It may be a nod back to the 95s, the original neon ones. That might be an updated version of them. But still... Um, I think maybe another choice of shoe maybe might have went better, but I still think they look incredible with the tracksuit. But isolation, I'm not really the biggest fan of them. I've got to be completely honest about that. But I'm sure they're going to do absolutely bits, regardless of what I have to say there. And I do like the fact that, oh, the main thing is that these track pants, no elastic. You don't understand how annoying it is when you get Nike tracksuits that are great and they've got an elastic cuff in the bottom of them. Usually what I'd have to do, I'd have to kind of, Back in the day, I'd, I'd, I'd kind of unstitch the bottom and take the elastic strap off of them and then steam the bottom of the flipping hem to kind of get all the wrinkles out. But it never really does just to kind of make them sure they're flat so they drop on Air Force Ones or Air Maxes and stuff. But yeah, that's back in the day pain in it. But yeah, he solved that issue there. And I think it's got a little button snap and closure on the side. So yeah, big up Cortez for doing absolute amazing bits. Love to see it. Hopefully continues on thriving and we see more going forward because that that flipping advert doesn't look like it's a one hit and done collab. That looks like they put some absolute money budget behind it. They flew in talent, lighting, camera people, extras and stuff. Like that's a lot. That's a lot of money that was spent on that flipping ad, especially in the recession we're in at the moment. I don't think this is a one hit and done. There's definitely more in the pipeline and hopefully we get more. And obviously that means well, each drop of shoe, we might get each so we've got two colors of the tracksuit here right so maybe each drop of shoe you see two different tracksuits which would be pretty sick um so yeah big up Cortez, a big up what they're doing um we don't got a release yet have we got a release yet? we do have a release actually um what's this here after revealing the collaborative issue the green colorway will officially launch on the Cortez website on march 10th uh, which has already passed and it hasn't been confirmed by nike yet but the global launch will soon likely follow so they're obviously le letting him do his own thing like the, dropping it how he does it um to to the streets touching the kids and whatnot and then global thing will come later so keep an eye out for that if you're interested in it keep an eye out for that if you're interested